Let's take a look at how to quickly and easily make character limbs in After Effects with no plugins. Tip -tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tart and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today we're taking a look at creating character limbs for animation and rigging without any plugins like rubber hose or anything like that. We're going to just do this completely natively with inside vanilla After Effects. So let's jump right in. Um, I've got a setup here of our character just to show you what this is going to look like. It doesn't obviously have to be this exact character, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can see here that I have a number of layers. Um, eyes, mouth, um, hair, head, neck, all on their own separate layers. But most importantly, I've got each of my arms separated out into a few different layers as well. Now, what I'm going to do is just delete this left arm uh, and I'm going to show you, let's leave the hand, I'll need that. Um, I'm going to show you how I built this completely animatable rig, which as you can see via this right hand here, is controlled by the position of null points as well. You can see that it adapts and moves and grows and shrinks depending on the position of the arm that you make it. Um, and it's all completely reactive um, and controlled with just these three null points. Now, first thing you need to do is to draw your arm. So I'm going to make sure that I've got no fill here. I'm going to go over to my right blue color that I want. And I'm just going to draw myself a arm. Now I've got my sketch layer, which I can turn on. So I can follow the initial sketch. I'm just going to draw three points on a path here. OK, that'll do. Let's just hide that um, sketch layer again and drag up my stroke width until I get something that I'm fairly happy with. Now, as you can see on this arm, the wrist join here is actually um, not as wide as the shoulder join, because I think it looks a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to rename this layer arm left. And I'm going to twirl it down until I get to my stroke options which I'm going to change to round cap to give the round ends here and round join to round off his elbow there. Then I'm going to go down to my taper option and we're going to use this to make his wrist a little bit thinner. I'm going to go to the end length here and I'm just going to drag it all the way up to 100%. What that's going to do is start the taper at the end and end the taper at the other end of the line. But then I'm going to grab my end width, which is the minimum width at the start of the taper, or in this case, the end of the taper. I'm just going to drag that up again until I get um, a width of the wrist that I'm happy with, which I think is going to be about 60%. That looks pretty good. OK, so let's just move this into position here. Now, as we all know, animating um, points on a path inside of After Effects is a real pain in the butt. OK, you could just go down to your path here and start keyframing, but you can't control individual points easily. And that's how we're going to change. Um, our workflow here so that we can control each of the points of this line individually. Now, if you go down to your window, you should under your um, script section down here have a create nulls from path.jsx script. This is included with every copy of After Effects from 2018 onwards. So if you don't see it, it's probably because you're not updated to After Effects 2018. That'll create this create nulls from path window. Now, you have three options here, which I'll just quickly take you through. The first option would create points that follow nulls. So it would attach a null object to each of the points here, and then moving those points would do nothing. You'd have to move the nulls that are attached to them. And that's what we're going to use. Um, it said there, uh, no path selected, even though I've got the layer selected. That's just because I need to scroll down all the way until I get to my path section and then click the one that's next to the stopwatch. So you've actually got just the path directly selected. Choose paths follow nulls. And that's going to create for you three null objects here, one at each point of the path. Now, obviously, if you've got more points in your line you know, of your path, then it's going to give you more null objects. I did it with three so that I could specifically go to wrist L, elbow L for left, and shoulder L for the shoulder. Now, you'll notice that if I go to my arm and I move this around, it doesn't actually let me. It only moves the anchor point. That's because now we have chose points, follow, nulls. If we move these individual null objects, you can see where we're going with this. Our arm is going to be animated based on the movement of those null objects, which is fantastic. Now, obviously, one thing you might want to do, first of all, is name your layers. Second of all, is color code your layers. So I'm going to make all of these, for example, green. And then I'm going to take the left hand. I'm just going to drag that above these here so that the wrist appears above it and it's a bit nicer. You'll also want to do things like link your hand to your wrist null object so that when you move your wrist, the hand moves with it too. <laughs> Obviously, that's not how we're going to animate it. We're going to animate it to look nice. 
So that is um, points follow nulls, okay? If we were to create a new path, let's just do this in a new composition so it's a bit easier. Uh, if we were to create a new path like so, and we were to twirl down and select the other options, such as nulls follow points, this would be, I could move the null object or I could try and move the null object and it wouldn't happen. I could scale and do whatever I want to, but I can't move it. But if I were to follow and move my path points, then the null objects would also move with them. So it's kind of the opposite of what we've got there. The final option, not really useful for character rigging, but it is useful for making something follow a path. So we select a path, click trace path here, press U because it's made some keyframes for us. And you'll notice we have two progress keyframes now that as we scrub along would mean that that null object is gonna follow that path, which is crazy useful. It's also gonna loop forever, which is great. Obviously you can turn that looping off by just alt clicking and removing that um, code that's on your looping path there. Those are the, the two other options, but of course um, we want the uh, nulls following points following nulls option so that we can move around these null points and animate our character um, however we'd like. Now I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial, but suffice to say, all I'm doing there is animating some null objects. So let's take a look at that. If I give ourselves some room to breathe here, you can see that we have on our arm left layers down here, we just have some keyframes where our null objects just do some basic animation. And because this whole character is pinned together correctly, the amount of keyframes we need is actually quite low. And then all I've done is simply loop that. So we get a nice little flicking through a UI animation. And that's all there is to it. Really powerful, points follow nulls, create nulls from path, super powerful, hidden away inside After Effects, should be made more uh, on the surface because it's fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider subscribing, um, hitting the notifications button, or if you're really enjoying a lot of my tutorials, I've recently launched memberships on the channel where for a small monthly fee, you get such perks as being shouted out in the videos and um, getting little badges next to your name, that sort of thing. Really helps me with the channel, helps it to grow, helps me to keep making tutorials like this for you. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time on TipTap. I'd like to take a moment to thank my level two members of the channel. Thank you so much for supporting me and what I do here at TipTap. Massive thank yous to my first two level two members, Unknown Ghosts and WN62. You are my favorite people. If you'd like to get a shout out at the end of each tutorial video, consider hitting that join button below and becoming part of the TipTart zone. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you later. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.